Okay, James P. Madonna from the Facebook group Everything is Food. I'm at the Royal Abachi Buffet and I'm just in luck to get some succulent duck. Nice and, uh, nice and neat. Shout out to Commodore Jeff Zambello and the Exorcist Bishop Ryan from the hit show on the Travel Channel Ghost Adventures. It happens to be early December 2019. And uh, at least we got some decent duck. Alright. Hey, look what's back. Bless their uh, crusty little crustacean hearts. Crab soup. A little busy here. It's a little busy. Uh, we got some lamb. Or no, not yeah. Lamb ribs. Barbecue, barbecue lamb ribs with uh, onions. Here we have a private party with the uh, beautiful Turkish lamps already lit. See. All right, uh, let me get some scrod cod. Now this seafood and marinara sauce will be very good over that uh, pasta and pink sauce over here. All right, baked ziti. This, be, this is what I'm gonna put on top of the baked ziti. Succulent scrod cod filet. Look at that. Sorry. Alright. Got some art artistic uh, sushi here. This is interesting. Okay, let's see what, it, what else we have here. Just walking around, even though I don't have any more room for anything else. Here we have um, paella. It's like a paella valenciana. Seafood paella. That's pretty good. But I have a feeling what I'm going to concoct later is going to be better. Uh, the fruit and dessert table. Let me see if there's any avocado salad. Uh, not yet, not yet. I don't see any avocado salad. Fresh mozzarella with tomato. Here's the ice cream station. Let's see if they got uh, my favorite green tea ice cream. Uh, may, may, that could be it, or is that? Oh, it could be coffee. I don't know. Yep, the one by, by you, Mike. I don't know if it, it's probably coffee. Every time I brag about green tea ice cream, they don't get it. If I, yeah, it's really good. It sounds terrible, but it's delicious. It's really good. It's not as sweet as a lot of the other flavors. But I can't brag about it because then they, he, he don't get it. Alright. Alright, that's good enough. Let me go to my seat now.
Okay, round two. I'm gonna put this uh, baked CD in pink sauce. Uh, it's got cheese in it too. Look at it. Got cheese in it. Put some of that seafood medley in marinara sauce. It's got a pink cream sauce, right? We're gonna make a bed of ziti, which is in a pink cream sauce, similar to a vodka sauce. Watch what I'm going to do when, when these gentlemen are finished. Right. It's going right on top of this. Yeah, because they go together, that's right. Yeah. Oh, look at that. You got the uh, jumbo shrimp uh, alfredo. Yeah. Fettuccine alfredo with jumbo shrimp. I put this right on top of it. Mussels, calamari. Right on top of the ziti. Because they're both made. They're both made from. Uh, Tomato, they're both tomato in there. Look at it, look at it. 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 Look at we got the pink sauce with uh, the blend of the broth of the sea, fruit de damar, from the uh, seafood marinara. Carefully, go right to the seat before there's an accident. Shoot the mark. Shoot the mark. The broth of the sea. Look good. Seafood. Marinara on top of pink sauce. Sorry. Quack, quack. Actually, this is very um, aesthetic to the eyeballs. I'm going to take a photo of this. Alright, got some nice shots of uh, the uh, sashimi un unagi. Um, I can always come back to that. Here's the fish roe. So, nothing exciting here. Nothing exciting. I, I don't like it when people select the uh, artificial crab meat. It's not really hardcore uh, Mongolian barbecue. Here we have the whiting fish came out. Steak and onions. Hopefully it won't be well done. It's in a barbecue sauce. Let me try two. Just in case it's not medium rare the way I like it. Some onions here. Nice, flavorful onions. Right. 
Fished out all the jumbo shrimp from the Alfredo. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, okay. Let's see what's going on here. Got seafood paella. Sweet and sour chicken. Let me try. Let me try one. Kind of red. Pastanis. Here we have very finest and uh, hot, spicy buffalo wings. You can come in and buy it in bulk for your next sporting events, party at home. Buy it in bulk. Royal Hibachi Buffet, Route 46 West, out of Book, New Jersey, for the finest and uh, hot and spicy buffalo chicken wings for your next sporting event. Okay, the desserts are out. Got the flan, got the tre leche. Um, got the flan, that won't, that won't be around very long, that's for damn sure. See, most of it is gone already, to be honest with you. Roll grape leaves. Got the roll grape leaves. I don't see any avocado salad this time. Okay. Right. Those mangoes don't look right. They look kind of hard. I, don't know what, I like that when they put papaya out. I like papaya. It's good for the stomach, digestive system. I have to get a steak knife. Steak knife. I could have got some salad and some veggies, but you know, veggies are boring. I can always have veggies, but not in a buffet. There we go. James B. Madonna from the Facebook group, Everything is Food. I'm here at, at the Royal Hibachi Buffet, Route 46 West, Satterbrook, New Jersey. And here is the king of Mongolian barbecue. Look at that. Look at that. Got the main noodles, got the thin uh, chow fun noodles, got the shrimp, chicken, uh, beef. I think somebody wants eggs on his Mongolian barbecue. I have a kid. I don't know why, but that's what he wants. Look. For some reason, I'm really not in the mood for sushi or sashimi today. Normally, I, I eat it. I eat a decent amount of it, but I'm not in the mood. I don't know why. 
Maybe because that uh, baked ziti in cream sauce, in, in pink sauce rather, with all that seafood on it, was uh, very filling for me. Then the duck, you know, everything else, the steak. Hey, there we go, finished product. salmon I'll probably get dessert unless something else catches my eye okay sweet potatoes they look roasted actually Got the marinated eggplant What I'm going to probably get is uh, vanilla ice cream since I'm not in the mood for any of these other flavors, believe it or not. Uh, no green tea ice cream, just coffee ice cream. I'm probably going to put the chocolate sauce on the bottom of the bowl so there's an even chocolate distribution with the vanilla ice cream. Don't ask me why it's called designer dessert sauce. I have no idea. So that should top it off. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.